Massive or over the top, that's what we're debating in today's Ding Dong when we ask, should marriage proposals be made in private? Romance expert and one half of the proposers, Daisy Amodio, says it's no longer acceptable for men to just go down on one knee. People want more of a story. While etiquette expert William Hansen believes that love should not be a competition and thrust in other people's faces. I can feel a nuptial Ding Dong coming on. <laughs> so without further ado, let battle commence. Ladies first. OK. Um, I think it's, it's fine to oppose however you want, but it needs to be meaningful. So in 50 years' time, what are you going to remember that your boyfriend proposed to you in your living room that you spend every day in, or are they going to remember a really lovely romantic story? So does a lovely romantic story have to be in full view of everybody else? No, it doesn't. I mean, you can still have proposals outside that are in the public, but it can still be intimate. Oh. But it's awfully terribly un-British, this competitiveness that we are now getting with proposing, that we all have to top our friends and the grooms, if, if we're being traditional, it's the groom that is proposing, is having to um, compete with, with everybody else. And actually, it should be something that is almost, not spontaneous, but it feels intimate and unplanned and sort of almost unvarnished, well, rather than this Disney production. Yes, there's I mean, nothing intimate about a Disney production, is there? No, if they love Disney, then it should be a Disney production. <laughs> I think it's whatever you want to do, so it's up to them. But do you think it's better, then, with the bigger it is and the more outrageous no. it is, is it more meaningful? I think the outrageous ones are great, because they're the ones that you're really going to remember, but it's about being meaningful, it's not about the price. So yeah. it could be £1, it could be £10,000, it's totally up to you. I don't think you have to spend money on it. Obviously, the, the, the ring you spend money on, but, the, you know, mm. having people popping out of cakes or coming down in parachutes that say, will you marry me, and all sorts of... But if that's extra... what they like, then why can't they have it? Well, we've got Everyone's to look at different. it if they're doing it... Well, well, do you want to see people proposing in front of you or not? No. <laughs> no, 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 really, it's a private thing that... You, you're doing it in front of all them to impress your friends. I don't mean you personally. <laughs> um, but you said they don't really want to see it. Well, I have a whole company that, 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 that runs on this, and obviously people come to me and they do want private and public proposals. And when we do do a public proposal, I'm honest when I say that so many people love it. You have people crying afterwards and they just think it's a really lovely thing to see. I th no, but I, th I think people kid themselves that, of course, everybody else is so 100% interested and obsessed with their proposal. And yes, OK, it's, I'm thrilled for people. But you should be interested. It's the biggest thing you're ever going to do But I don't know them. Life. I'm walking down the street. I don't want suddenly my day to be and interrupted. Don't watch them. <laughs> don't watch them. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, <'cause> Heaven forbid! <laughs> no, but if, if there is a big... If there's a huge, big production going on that's stopping me getting on with my day just because someone's going to say, will you marry me, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's irritating. Just, uh, on, on your, you've got a lovely ring on Thank yours. It's you. absolutely <laughs> lovely. So you've been proposed to recently? Mm -hmm. Yes. How recently? Well, about a year ago. A year ago. And how did you do it? In public or private? Well, <laughs> I, would, I would rather be proposed to in private, so it was in our house that we bought. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, because that's what I want. Susie, so. public or private? Private. Private. Yeah, <laughs> it's public or private? Uh, private, I think. Yeah. Excellent. Very private. 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 Oh, there you see, we're go. all very private round here. <laughs> we're not all Kim Kardashian, that's the no, answer, isn't we're it? Not. In a big football stadium with people. <laughs> well, we shall see. I wonder if she'll manage to sway the audience. We shall find out. <laughs> we shall... We've heard what our guests have had to say. Let's know what your thoughts are. Have your say on our Facebook page or by emailing alan at itv.com and at the end of the show, we'll be asking our lovely studio audience for their votes. They may change their mind. My thanks for now to Daisy and to William. Thank you both very Thank much. You. Thank you. If you agree with Daisy and Odio that over-the-top public displays are fun for everyone, raise your blue paddle. Or if, like William Hansen, you believe a proposal is not a competition or something to be thrust in other people's faces, please vote yellow. Raise your paddles now. <laughs> We have one or two showmen and women, but they're mainly doing it in private, our loss. <laughs>